Okay, uh, hello everybody and welcome to the UK Zoom call under control. I'm here with uh, Peter and I welcome you all. Hello Dwayne and Ava and all the new friends from around the world. And I will begin by passing the mic over to, no I won't, um, first I said uh, hello Pierce and uh, would you like to begin? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, hello everyone. Um, yeah, um, oh, I've got a few a bit to share this week. Um, I'll start with uh, um, mine. I had two this week, um, basically. I had one in the week where I was uh, viewing uh, Dwayne. Um, and it was up in a, well, it was, it was the view I've been getting quite a bit. Where he's doing his, um, whatever Dwayne does, his manipulation, his, his stuff. And um, yeah, but it was um, it was different. It was uh, it, I mean, not normally the view I've been getting of it. It was I think it's our galaxy, the Milky Way, what he's been working in. But this one was a different one. It was um, it looked it looked very different. Um, but it was as he normally does it. It was like Dwayne was huge and just just like it, just like it always appears to me. It's like huge and massive and golden and shining. And um, he's in the middle of it and. It's like it's 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 not the Milky Way. It's it's another one. I, I don't know, but it's it's uh, it's another kind of galaxy, and it's just um, is is there's a reflection coming off it. It's like like a red because it's reflecting off the wane, and I can see it. I can see the reflection because it's like like I say, it's like he's on a when he's is is in. I'm in the view, and I've and Dwayne's in it, but Dwayne's. It's it is Dwayne, and he's like, he's in it. If you can understand what I'm saying, he's like, he's in the, he's in the the uh, galaxy, but he's actually he's in it. He's like stood, stood, and it's like he's going through it. If you if you can understand what I'm saying, and he's like, he can manipulate, he can move it from like, he can lift it because like, say it's like on a horizontal. Well, he can like, he'll just shift it to have like a vertical so he can get a better view so he don't got a bend over if you know what I mean so it's like on a screen in front of him and it's like it's just like I said the last time what it was doing with the like with the life of graphs it was like scratching out the distortions it was that but it was something else but but I was actually nearer to him this time I was like basically I was kind of on Dwayne's shoulder and he looked round he knew I was there he smiled continued what he was doing but I was actually stood like kind of next to him. And um, yeah, and then it, it just kind of faded out. But it was definitely a different, different uh, galaxy, definitely, from the, from the ones I've seen previous. And that, that, was, um, that was early on in the week. I think that was Tuesday. And then, um... <coughs> <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Then yesterday evening, as we was, um, as the... Uh, Africa chat was starting. I was just, um, I was waiting for like other people to join. And uh, I kind of, uh, I had an impression then and I was like, I was singing the new you very gently. And I, I had an impression, but uh, I was, it was like, I was a, the wave. Um, I want, I want on the, I was in the sea, but um, I was, I was underneath the surface but I was just like looking up, you know, if you like, if you dive into a water and you, you know, you ain't got goggles on or anything, but um, the view was different. It was, I was just like, I was very near the surface of the sea, like the top, like the top. And uh, I was just underneath and I was just like gliding or swimming underneath this, like the, the top of the sea. And it was going on for quite a while. And um, it was just the view didn't change, but it was just I was just looking at it was the sun. I could just like through the water, I could just see the sky, not really the sky, but just the sun, the big, the big glowing orange ball, and, and that's all it was. That was just like yesterday. It was it was just like a quick um, impression, but it was it was fantastic. I was just like I didn't look at myself or anything, but I got the impression I was like the sea. You know, I was like I was the sea, and I was the, I was just like looking, and but I was. From a from a from an angle underneath, like I was a bean, looking up through the sea. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but looking up through the sea. But I was like, I was the sea, and I was just out of the view. 
but I was just looking at the sun and it was just that and it just it kind of went on for a while and then it just it just went faded and uh, people started uh, conversing on the chat so I was intently listening so yeah that was my two experiences what I've had but um, I'd like to share some more uh, what my my wife said she had two uh, this week um, strange both of them um, the first one it was a um, she said it was, um, she walked past a bunch of women and uh, I know my wife, she's not judgmental or anything, but she said these particular women, she was like a bunch of lesbian women. And um, they got her and like, they, they kind of like surrounded her. And um, on the back, on the back of a, well, the bottom of the back, she's got a, it was a fad some years ago, girls and that getting um, the tattoo of, uh, a name or something or whatever, but it was a tattoo on the top of her back and the bottom of her back. And uh, they call it a tramp stamp. So anyway, um, she's got my, na my name tattooed across there. So, but uh, she's, um, she's been surrounded by this uh, group of, she thought it was, she said they all looked like, I had a look to her, like all bought, short haired, uh, how they dressed and such. And, and she says it was just slashing her, slashing and slashing above her on this tramp stamp where she's got my name on her back and it was just cutting it out and cutting it out and cutting it out and then she said a view changed and she went to her so it was on a hospital bed and um they couldn't put her back to they couldn't actually uh make it better for her that's what that's what she said she said it was an awful awful dream awful experience she didn't know what it meant so she told me and then two days later she had another one um where she says um a mother, a mother had passed away, and um, she went back to one of the whole, the old houses what they lived in. It was a really big, it was a big, big posh house they used to live in. And um, she said she was just outside the house, and the whole family was there. And she says she went into the house, and it was just like boxes of stuff, but the house was different. It wasn't how she remembered it. I mean, she's lived in a few houses growing up, and that. But I don't know. I don't think it was a favourite ass, but it was might have been one of them. But she just says uh, it was just full of stuff and loads of different rooms. And like she said, it was like you walked in the house and it was it was just different. It was like I don't know if you've seen Doctor Who. He's got like the little box and you go in it, the TARDIS, and it's massive. It's just like loads of different rooms. She said it was like that, and it was like just full of stuff that she had no idea what it was or boxes and she was going through the boxes and she said she couldn't remember any of it and it was just load and the whole house was and all all of the rooms was just stacked up with this stuff that she didn't know what it was but she knew she had to take care of it because it was a mum's and um, that was a mum's wish to like you know that you're in charge of everything so you got to sort it all out and then she says she uh, come outside and like all of, all of the kids are in the house at this time and um she said she was looking at the house from outside and then um well we've got a son uh Tate, um he's 19 years is but he's um he's got severe learning difficulties they haven't uh they haven't given him a category they haven't said he's got autism or asperger's or he hasn't got anything he just doesn't hardly speak much and he's not very bit verbal he's like don't communicate with as much but she says she's seen the house half of the house collapse and uh Tate was in Tate was in the hat in the half of the house that collapsed and it all collapsed down on Teg and it, it killed him. She, she woke up and she was in bits and I told her, I says, no, no, it's just a dream. You know, it's not, it's not, you know, Teg, they mean Teg's going to die or anything. But yeah, she was really upset about that. And then, um, that's it. I've got some more. I've got two or three more to share that are my daughters, but, um, I'd like to know what Dwayne thinks about those ones, please. If he's here. <laughs> Oh boy, Pierce, that's a lot. Yes, uh, the first experience. Yes, we are doing things uh, in creation here, and you're seeing some of it. And so, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the big surprise that's coming. There's a lot to do, and then the other things are the personal order. Um, you know, like the house and the boxes and whatever. Those are just uh, you know ideas that we store in the personal self, and uh, you know your wife. Uh, you know, her relationship to her mother, whatever, whatever that is, we, you know, we have these things for lifetimes, etc. And then uh, uh, 
the uh, the one with the child uh, with the autism, et cetera, and the house collapsing. So I kind of see that as a, a warning, uh, possibly. And so just kind of a heads up there that, you know, possibly something could happen. Uh, uh, we're just kind of given these little things. So uh, uh, it's a step at a time. Uh, see how the movie plays out. Uh, just kind of watch things. Uh, we have to be aware as we're here because of what the world's doing. But uh, yeah, something along those lines, young man. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dwayne. I've got two, two more to share that I, I thought was a pretty interesting from my daughter. Um, it involves basically it's family members again, but it's a bit strange. I could share him if you like. That's okay, Kevin. Everybody. Yes, go right ahead. Right, basically, it's my daughter, um, Ebony. She, um, the other night, she had a... She, she dreamt this, that, um, that it was all in the house. And um, it was like a shadow. A shadow person in the house uh, doing stuff. And uh, she says... She said that everyone in the house had um, said the shadow person. It had Ebony's shadow. Ebony's 15. Uh, but she said it had Ebony's shadow. And Ebony was like, oh, well, I haven't seen it. In, in much, I haven't seen it yet. But then she said in a dream that she'd seen it, it was like somebody turned the light on at a, a certain place. So she went to stand there. And um, she'd seen him. And they turned it on and off dead quick, and she said she'd she'd seen the shadow person, but she couldn't she couldn't remember it looking like her. But she said things just went on. They all got a bit daft and went upstairs. And then she said she was in bed. Like this is still a dream. It's, um, she says that um, she was attacked by the shadow person, and it was it was on top of her. And uh, she tried to scream. She says, but. Um, she couldn't scream. It was it kind of sucked the breath out of her. She said it sucked the breath out of her, and um, she chucked she chucked it off. However, she did. She said she she wrestled it. She jumped on it on the floor because she was like she's on the top bunk. There's the bunk beds. So she said she like fell out of the bed with it and landed on the floor. And then she said she seen it, um, and it was her, and it was her own, it was her own face. It was she seen herself in the shadow person like she was wrestling. And she said she let out a scream to, to wake her sister up, Mia, her older sister. And she said, but she couldn't scream. And that was it. That was that was the first one. And uh, the second one she had, she said um, we was all having a picnic. And uh, and it's basically on the school field across the, across the way from where we live, the old school where the kids used to go. She said we was all there having a picnic on the field. And... Um, my wife's, uh, my wife's dad passed on about three, four years ago. And she said she'd seen a grandpa, but nobody else could see him. And uh, she went over to him. And then she says uh, she remembers being with her grandpa. And then, uh, but nobody else could see him. And she says her uh, mum come over and was talking to me. And she was saying, look, his grandpa and all that. And mum was saying, yeah, yeah, I know, but mum couldn't see him. And then she said she woke up from it. She said it was a lovely dream. And it was, she ended up, she, held it, she was holding his hand and then he walked off. And uh, she said it was a lovely dream. But then the very next night, she had another one where it was, um, she said she'd seen my, my parents, my dad, who dad passed on in the um, February this year. And uh, my mum, she went some years ago, but she said she'd never seen my mum. And she said she'd seen my dad and I was um, in a house. And like, well, he was in a room and he was like up against the wall, shouting, shouting for my mum. And uh, the wall had a, a room in it. I mean, not a room, a door in it, a doorway. She said, but the doorway was locked. And then there was uh, some kind of space in between, between them. And she said, my mum was in another room just away from my dad. But uh, she was in a door. She, there was a door in that room as well. But um, it's like they couldn't connect. They was talking to each other, but they just couldn't connect. That's, that's the impression she said she got from the dream. And that's it. That's what I've got to share this week. Thank you. So you've got any ideas, Dwayne? Appreciate them. Thank you. Okay. Um, real fast here. The first one. Uh, yes, we're actually always meeting ourselves. And so uh, is your, are your daughter singing the new you? I'm just curious. 
Yeah, they are, but they don't they don't do it every night. But I'm sure they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do okay. see. It. Yeah, okay. So again, uh, you know, as we unravel things, I mean, there's a whole lot to go through to figure out ourselves. And I remember one time, uh, first when I got in the corporation with uh, with Paul, that uh, I had a, an experience that was kind of like set into outer space, where it was just. Uh, like part of a, a room where there's a, a bed on one side, etc. And I met myself. The, the old idea is the doppelganger or the psychic, or the psychic dub. And so, uh, yeah, and it was, it was a little bit scary uh, because there's this part of ourselves that's hidden that, uh, you know, we don't really notice. And sometimes it, uh, it'll come around in the dream state like that. So there's... There's a part of her that, uh, you know, she uh, she decides she's going to confront or not, uh, etc. So, again, uh, yeah, we scare ourselves with ourselves. And then the other ones after that, uh, uh, again, those are relationships uh, just going around on the real side. Those are actually confirmations that, hey, everybody's okay. They're there and you can go see them. So uh, that's something fun to talk about. Just that's stuff is very basic go ahead all right Dwayne thank you very much that's all I had to share this week thank you very much